May I add, by the way, she too is looking at us. This, this, she's no flower, you know, she's no wilting flower. She has a personality, clearly. A little Jane Eyre stuff around her, I think. Okay, she has a personality, and she has her hair, which is actually a slightly redder, may I note, a little more red in the original than it is in the slide. Okay, and red hair is, of course, women's hair, all you Semitic people in the audience, <laughs> that is women's hair is a symbol of sensuality, obviously, and red hair is a symbol of big time sensuality, uh, all right, with a little choker around her neck. You know, she, she, no, it's not pearls, because she can't have pearls, but she, a little choker around her neck, okay? And she gazes at us, and she looks at us. She has a personality. She is a person. There's one other interpretation, and I actually credit it to a student. I have to footnote, okay? I was, I, this, I was doing this painting a couple of years ago in, 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 one of my, in my fourth year seminar, and one of the students said, you know what? Maybe they're the same person. A plus. I mean, okay, even if it's wrong. No, even if it's wrong, it's A plus. Okay, I mean, that, that is, it doesn't matter if it's, I mean, that is, a, and I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, maybe this is the girl who is looking in and longing to be part of the stuff, and that's what she turns into when she is a woman. If it is, by the way, there's some textual, let me use the word carefully, intertextual. Okay, in other words, there's another Manet painting, which I have time, I'll show you, Bar at the Folie Bergere, in which he has two different scenes in the same image. Now, this is not new in Western art, but it's new in Western art from the Renaissance. In other words, in medieval paintings, you often have this. In church paintings, you often have this. And in modern paintings, we often have this. Okay, but from 1500, 1450 or so, to roughly 1900, you were not supposed to do that. Okay, but it could be. It could be he's making a comment on what that girl will become. After all, let me try it on you. What alternatives does she have? Okay, she can't be a doctor. She can't be a lawyer. Okay, she could be smarter than any male, but that's not the point. Okay, I mean, there are only three middle class uh, um, types of employment that women might have had at that time. One is a governess. A governess, you retain your middle class status. And in Britain, for example, the governess does not eat, as they say in 19th century Britain, downstairs. That is, the, 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 the governess eats with the family. Okay, so that's status. Okay, and of course, nursing was, was founded as a profession in the Crimean War and begins to be both in, in Western Europe uh, a profession that is mainly female for a very long, well, still now mainly female, but, but solely female at that time. In fact, they were called sisters, uh, in fact. If you, go, if you get sick in England, you go to the hospital, you, get, you will see a sister, uh, for example. And, and, and possibly a teacher, possibly. Depends on where, because we're just getting into the national education system and so on and so on. But that's it. Otherwise, stay home, okay? Or for example, I'll give you the, other, the opposite. I'm, oh, these are just images of women reading, which I pulled from Renoir, because uh, I, I once wanted to do, I'm not gonna do it, so you can do it if you want, a book called Femme Lisante. Uh, that is that, that simply, there are thousands of paintings of women reading, and no paintings of women going anywhere. <laughs> no, but that's, what, that's how they go somewhere, <laughs> in effect, obviously. Okay, but here is Renoir's painting uh, and big time celebration of Madame Charpentier and her children. In case you don't know, it's a domestic painting. There's a big, big, fat dog <laughs> lying here in the corner. <laughs> okay, symbol, symbol, symbol. And the children are happy and looking at themselves. Madame Charpentier is a little pudgy, which indicates that they have enough wealth that she can eat well and so on and so forth. And of course, they are living in a bourgeois, peacock-like and so on home, okay, which has all of the accoutrement of the bourgeoisie because the home is the shrine. The notion is, this is what a woman is supposed to do and be, in a certain sense, okay? And you'll note the husband is out because it's a daytime painting, and the tradition at that moment, of course, is that the husband is in the public sphere and the wife is in the private sphere. Uh, and the bourgeois house is, in, uh, the bourgeois home is a kind of shrine of sorts, uh, and it exists as a kind of shrine. So, so there are interesting different images, whereas, of course, Manet challenges this.